Welcome back to the Gentleman's Gazette. In today's video, we'll discuss multiple ways to effectively wear and pair two popular colors in menswear, gray and red. Penny. 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 <laughs> When it comes to color pairings in menswear, perhaps few have been so commonly utilized by presidents, businessmen, Hollywood stars, and the common man alike as gray and red. The two hues play especially well off of each other, as the neutral gray provides a solid base, whereas the slightly bolder primary color of red can draw a bit more attention. It's a striking and authoritative mixture that goes back at least as far as the Middle Ages, where architects would use these two colors in concert with one another to build places of worship and other buildings of significance. In a modern clothing context, not only do gray and red work well together in formal settings, but they can also allow the wearer to stand out a bit, if desired, in casual settings. So, as another installment in our ongoing series on color pairings, the playlist of which you can find here, let's go over the various ways in which you can pair gray and red in your outfits. Perhaps the easiest way to pair these two colors together is via the use of a suit and tie. We'll start here with the example of a charcoal gray suit paired with a red tie. Busy day for vehicles, it seems. Wouldn't expect anything less. As we've gone over numerous times before, charcoal is both a formal color for suiting, but also especially versatile. And when paired with the bolder pop of a red tie, which can draw a bit more attention to the face, the pairing works well. Given that studies show red is a color that helps to evoke both excitement and trustworthiness, wearing a shade of red in your tie might be an effective choice for a presentation. For more information on giving effective presentations, you can find our video here. And for more information on the psychological impacts of the color red in your outfits, you can find more info in our color pairing video on blue and red here. Of course, you've got a wide variety of options when it comes to red ties, both in shades ranging from bolder, truer red down to burgundy, and in what the tie looks like. Whether it's got a small pattern, like a geometric print, or perhaps a paisley, whether it's a knit tie, and so on. Working within the same basic outfit mold, but going slightly less formal, you could exchange the charcoal gray suit for one in medium or even light gray. And if you'd like to add an extra element of style, you could even consider a suit that incorporates both colors. For example, a Glencheck suit that features a red overplaid. This would be further accented by wearing the red tie. For a lower contrast outfit, and especially good for gray suits that have cooler tones, you could also consider a patterned red tie that incorporates some blue. As you've probably gathered by now, gray suits can be paired easily with a wide variety of different tie and indeed shirt colors. For more information on that subject, you can find our video on pairing shirts and ties with your gray suits here. And for an additional and especially unique touch, you could consider adding a contrasting or odd waistcoat to the outfit. Something in maroon or burgundy red would stay within the established color palette, but also look quite smart and, again, unique. Let's move now from suits into slightly more casual combinations of sport coats and odd trousers. A prime example here, and one that would be particularly good for the colder fall and winter seasons, would be a burgundy sport coat paired with gray flannel pants. A burgundy sport coat is always going to be somewhat eye-catching, of course, though certainly less so than a bolder, true red color. But again, the gray flannel trousers will help to ground and neutralize the outfit somewhat, so it won't look too bold overall. And so long as you're already working within a more business casual to smart casual dress code, you might consider incorporating some pattern into your shirt. 
perhaps in a gray color with a gingham or a small stripe. To translate this fall and winter look into a more spring and summer feel, you could instead go with a brighter, perhaps more pastel linen jacket in red, and then pair with either gray trousers or a gray polo shirt and contrasting trousers in another color that still works within the outfit. Whether wearing a suit or a combination featuring a sport coat and odd trousers, you can of course further enhance the color pairing by use of your accessories and your footwear. Consider perhaps oxblood shoes and red accessories like a carnation boutonniere and a pocket square with some red color tones. And if you're feeling especially bold, something like a Winchester shirt featuring red and white stripes would fit the bill for these types of outfits. Returning to fall and winter outfits for a moment, but again going even more casual, you could substitute the sport coat for a sweater or cardigan in red. You'll most likely be able to find slightly brighter color options here than just maroons or burgundies, and you could also consider different styles, such as a tennis sweater or shawl-collared cardigan. Other options would include a v-neck sweater, again paired with a red tie, or changing up the colors in the different elements and going with a gray sweater with red trousers, or the gray sweater with a red pattern shirt and neutral trousers. Red trouser options to pair with a gray sweater would include things like chino pants or even corduroys. Depending on the boldness of the red color, you could verge into the territory of go to hell pants if you so chose. Further driving home the color pairing with an overall casual feel would be adding something like gray suede shoes to the mix here. And if you're looking for something even more casual and a bit more Americana inspired, you could go with gray chino pants paired with a red gingham pattern shirt or perhaps even a burgundy corduroy shirt for something especially rustic. Think of pairing with things like leather jackets here for something that's more rugged but still within the overall umbrella of classic menswear. Now that we've provided some example outfit ideas at multiple points in the formality spectrum, let's also keep in mind that there are several tips to avoiding pitfalls when wearing the gray and red color combination. Our first big point of caution here is to avoid maroon dress shirts. A mistake that many men make when first getting into menswear is to buy solid colored dress shirts in dark jewel tones, including maroon, often in an especially shut. Ah! Almost got there. <laughs> such as maroon, often in a shiny satin finish. Not only will the contrast be a bit too overwhelming in a formal outfit, but it will also cheapen the ensemble overall if you're to wear a shirt like this. It would of course be more commonly seen in settings like a high school prom or perhaps a Scarface Halloween costume, and those definitely aren't the associations you'll want to go for. How about new? This, of course, is especially true when paired with a necktie of the same color. Overall, we would generally recommend to keep your shirts lighter than the colors of your jackets and or full suits to keep the outfit looking harmonious and to flatter your silhouette. Our next tip is that the more formal you want your outfit to be, the more it should focus on gray and less so on red. As mentioned previously, gray is a neutral color that helps to ground an outfit and is a staple of formal wear. Whereas red is naturally bolder and should really best be used for accent pieces and accessories, especially to draw attention toward the face. Having one to three red accessories, at least near the face, is probably as much as you're going to want, and again, the darker the red, the more formal it will become. You may recall if you've seen our video on pairing gray and blue that you can almost equally wear ensembles featuring gray suits and blue shirts, as well as blue suits with gray shirts. However, the same really isn't true when discussing gray and red. 
While you can certainly wear suits in different shades of gray with shirts that incorporate red, wearing a red suit with a gray shirt isn't a look we'd recommend. The bottom line here is that a red suit is really just going to fall outside the parameters of truly classic menswear. More commonly seen on figures like the Joker or a bold peacock at the Pity Womo event in Italy. It can be pulled off in showy situations like this, but in day-to-day -day life for most men, you're probably going to feel safer and frankly look better sticking to more classic combinations like a gray suit and a shirt with tones of red. We alluded to this tip a moment ago, but again, it's important to reinforce that you shouldn't wear too many statement pieces simultaneously in an outfit of this nature. Red is a naturally bold and eye-catching color, so having too many accessories or outfit elements at once will probably make the outfit look overwhelmed. You could consider capping off one of these outfits with something like a maroon fedora, red driving gloves, or again, a red carnation, but don't wear all three of these together so you won't come across as looking like a Dick Tracy villain. And as a final overall tip here, another point we alluded to previously, try to find pieces that contain both colors, as they'll work especially well in outfits where you're pairing them together elsewhere. For example, you could find ties featuring rep stripes in gray and red, or perhaps a gray micro pattern on a red ground, like the tie I'm wearing here today. And again, finding a suit in a shade of gray with an overcheck or perhaps a subtle stripe in a red tone will look especially smart in outfits featuring this color pairing. Now that we've gone over our general tips and some of our example outfits, let's return to a few more examples, putting on more layers for colder seasons. Perhaps the easiest way to incorporate this color pairing into the realm of outerwear is to start with an overcoat in gray and then adding a red-toned scarf. While you could also consider incorporating headwear featuring red tones, like a fedora or newsboy cap, these won't be quite as commonly found, and they might again look a little bit flashy if others aren't accustomed to seeing you in these kinds of color pairings. And while we mentioned outfits featuring sport coats or sweaters before, you could, of course, pair them together for an outfit that will feature another layer to keep you warm. Something like a gray tweed sport coat with a red-toned sweater underneath would, of course, look especially smart. And if you would like to go for an especially bold option here, you could consider a red overcoat. Something like this isn't going to be an especially versatile choice for outerwear, of course, but it could work as a statement piece. And since you won't be wearing it all day, like you would be with a red suit, but instead taking it off once you get indoors, the overall effect won't be quite so jarring. To finish things up today, one final area of the outfit to discuss when considering this gray and red color pairing would, of course, be footwear. The most traditional choice here would likely be an Oxford shoe in an ox blood or dark red color made from cordovan leather. But there are many other options for red-toned footwear, whether in the style of shoe, including a derby or even a loafer, or perhaps even boots, and in the color not only going with the dark red or burgundy tones, but also a more bold true red. And, of course, you don't have to go with the more expensive and somewhat more temperamental cordovan leather. You could just go with standard calfskin as well. And while gray leather shoes are somewhat rare and not especially versatile, a gray suede shoe could work well in casual and even some business casual settings. Gray leather sneakers could be worn in casual ensembles for a more fashion-forward style, and of course you can change up the look of almost any shoe by incorporating colored shoelaces, so red would be a natural choice here. 
And moving from shoes to socks, matching the tone of your socks to that of your trousers is of course the most conservative choice, but you could go for bolder options incorporating more red if you so chose. And again, wearing a sock that features both gray and red tones, such as the shadow striped socks I'm wearing today, would be another smart choice. So, hopefully we've provided you with some useful information on different ways to pair gray and red together. Overall, the neutral and grounding gray, paired with the slightly bolder red, makes for a smart combination at various levels of the formality scale. It should be no surprise that my outfit in today's video is working within this gray and red color pairing. I'm of course wearing a charcoal gray suit, which has a bit of pattern and texture to its weave, and I'm wearing it as a two-piece today, even though you've also seen it in its three-piece configuration elsewhere on the channel. My vintage silk tie is in a burgundy red color, but it features a small micro pattern with some gray tones to harmonize with the suit. Other burgundy elements throughout the outfit would be my small dark red carnation boutonniere, my cap-toed Oxford shoes in burgundy calfskin, and my shadow striped socks in both dark gray and burgundy. My belt from our new modular Fort Belvedere belt system is also in Bordeaux burgundy calf leather to match my shoes, and the belt buckle in silver is the design we're calling the Jasper, which is slightly rounded. My silk wool blend pocket square, also from Fort Belvedere, is again in a predominantly burgundy shade, but it also features a paisley motif in blue, green, and pink, as well as beige, with a shoestring edge in the same beige color. My French cuffed shirt is in plain pink to again be lighter than the suit, but to harmonize with the red color feel of the outfit, and perhaps the boldest outfit element I'm wearing are my cufflinks, which are in our platinum-plated sterling silver eagle claw design featuring red carnelian as the stone. Of course, you can find all of the Fort Belvedere accessories I'm wearing today, including the socks, belt and buckle, pocket square, boutonniere, and cufflinks in the Fort Belvedere shop here. <laughs>